In this video, I'll show you how to bind these micro receivers to a Spectrum DX8. This is a Orange RX R415X. This is an Orange RX RX3SM three axis stabilized receiver, which supports DSM2 and DSMX. Both of these support DSM2 and DSMX. This is just for comparison, this is the three axis uh, stabilizer uh, version 2. This is just an 8 channel receiver. This is just a 6 channel receiver from Orange RX. So you can see the size difference. These receivers are great for small models or gliders which you have to keep uh, the weight limit down. So they work with these tiny little 1.7 gram servos and they have a little Pico Blade 1.25 millimeter connector on them. The only problem I'm having with these servos is you can't get extenders for these because, of course, Hobby King is out of them, as usual. To power these receivers, I have a little Turnigy single cell 950 milliamp battery with a JST connector on it. To bind them, you can't put the JST on here and the bind plug at the same time. So this is a picture of the R415X and it says this pin is ground, the middle one is plus, and the top one is for CPPM. So here's a picture of the RX3SM in all the connectors and the variable pots that you can adjust for the gain on the gyros. It doesn't tell you what these pins are, so I'm suspecting that these are the same negative and positive and CPPM. So if I'm wrong, there might be blue smoke coming out of this receiver when I plug it in the first time. Uh, no. Orange light came on, so we're good. This jumper isn't going to work because that's going to block the pins that I'm powering my receiver with. So this is the only way I found to power this receiver is through the regular servo pin, but to bind this you have to use like an alligator clip, carefully putting it on the first pin on the servo connector and then on the last pin on the servo connector. Because if you look at this, this is a jumper, right? This is a wire that is hooked to these two pins. This, uh, these, this row of switches are in the way. I'm hoping I don't short anything out. So you plug your JST in and it'll blink. Then you bring your radio over. Let me lay this down without frying anything. Press your button. Turn it on. And now I'm bound to this receiver. Now I'll unplug everything. These are Hobby King 5330 servos. Okay, so I have my servos hooked up. I'll plug my GST connector. First turn on my Spectrum DX8. And you can hear the servos moving when I move my stick. The gyros, the three axis stabilized receiver, you hear the servos trying to compensate. So just as a reference, here's a uh, here's an American quarter. Here's the servos. And here's the receiver and everything else like that. So this is great for micro models that you want to stabilize. This I believe was about fifteen dollars plus uh $15 of shipping, thank you Hobby King. Same thing with this, about 11 or $12 plus $15 of shipping, which you know I wish Hobby King would fix. Like uh, storing more of these in the US rather than in Singapore. So something like this little R415X receiver would also work in a quadcopter hooked up to your NAS or Flip32. Because you can use uh, CPPM 
using a single cable from this servo connector to your flight controller. 